What's up, his heads? Welcome back to another episode of Guy Party. This is beautiful Brad. And this is Chester. What's up, dude? Not much. Uh, had a pretty baller weekend. Yeah, <laughs> yes you did. I did myself, but yeah. <laughs> I didn't quite get the climax that you got. <laughs> I probably could have came in my pants many times. I bet. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally Saturday to Sunday. Right. <laughs> so, what happened this uh, weekend was we had a 50th birthday party for one of our buddies. Do we want to give him a code name? Yeah, we probably should. I was thinking, like, just because of his actual last name and what we call him, maybe call it Flower. Flower, yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> so, Flower turned 50. And we'll, we'll get into more of that, but also the Bengals played a uh, first playoff game of the 2023 season. Mm-hmm. Do we want to talk about that, or do we want to save that for our Bengals Road to the Super Bowl pod? Yeah, we'll save that, but um, just to go into it a little bit, you did both. Whereas, I did, yeah. yeah. You were you were worried you were going to be too hungover, because yeah. you had the offer to get a ticket to the game. yeah. You know, face value, I think, is what... Yeah. Yeah, so 85 bucks. Yeah. Which is really cheap, considering what the resale was for those it, tickets. It was. I, I missed out. hmm Because they might have been one of the greatest plays in Bengals history that occurred, but we'll go into more of yeah, that Yeah, the later. game itself felt kind of slow, especially, like, in the second half, yeah. where I was drunk and searching for cheese conies. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I think I combed that entire third level, and I did not see cheese conies. Really? Not one? And not one. They have all those generic food stands with, mm-hmm. like, fucking hot dogs and bets and shit, and pie- I did not see cheese conies anywhere. I know they're there. I, yeah. I know they're there. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I just, I, I swear to God, I probably spent about 45 minutes looking for cheese conies. <laughs> I, went, I ended up going down to the second level and I took the stairs and, like, well, not the stairs, like the ramp, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Like when you leave. Oh, yeah. That shit takes forever. It does. I wish there were just normal stairs. It would be faster. It is, yeah. <laughs> So I ended up getting like twenty thousand steps that night. I bet. <laughs> Shit, anytime I go to a Bengals game, I'm well over like my average or normal, you know, or my requirement. Well, I was even walking around all downtown before the game too. Like, um, I had Amber drop me off in Covington, mm-hmm. and then I like I just walked across the um, the road lane. I started off in the banks and then met up with. Uh, some of my friends that yeah. you know <laughs> who, was like, who were also at the game. I uh, went to this place. is It's a cool place. I, I wouldn't mind going back there. It's called the In Between Bar. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good spot. It's I liked right, it. Yeah, it's right next to where I work at. Uh, yeah, yeah, I figured. Yeah, we, we go eat there sometimes. But um, I was on foot and I, I tried to get GPS to give me directions there because I'd, ne- I'd never heard of it before and. Mm-hmm. Fucking GPS took me in the absolute wrong direction, so there's just a shitload more steps. Like, it took me, like, towards Paycor Stadium <laughs> instead of, like, away from it. It was just fucking ridiculous. Yeah. And then I met up with Luke and... Crickets. Crickets. In the same spot we were at... All the, uh, the kind of the hidden, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. tailgate area. I managed to find it without any help. Oh, I was, really? I was, I was impressed with myself. <laughs> yeah, that, that tailgate area is like the cricket special. Yeah. Like, let's tuck away and hide. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I bought a six pack of truth mm-hmm. and I was just like lugging it around with me and like I was waiting to like hook up with crickets <laughs> and Luke to start drinking it but then like I'm looking at the time and it's like an hour and a half till game time and I'm like this is a six pack of truth <laughs> <laughs> tell me you shotgunned them oh I, I feel at least a few of them yes <laughs> I, I know on our walk down to the the stadium like, I had two of them in my pockets, and I'm just, like, chug-a-lugging. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, I got in there real drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, truths are the uh, quick killer for mm. you booze heads out there. It's Cincinnati it's Brew. Strong IPA shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, if you want to get drunk without getting bloated, Ryan guys out of the way. Or any IPA. It's pretty good for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not a big IPA beer connoisseur. I kind of Cincinnati it. does it real well. Like, yeah. uh, Mantry and Ryan Geist have great IPAs. So, yeah. We're a good beer town. Yeah. I, it, it's cool getting fucking drunk off a 12 pack. Like, mm-hmm. cause when I'm drinking Miller Lights, I, I can drink them till the like, fucking cows come home or however you want to say it. Right, right. What, we uh, had it tied up in the uh, in the second half, 17 17. And then Ravens are driving, 
and they're down to like the one yard line. You're just thinking like, there's still a little bit of time. So in the back of my mind, I know a lot of fans are thinking this is fucking game over. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, all right, time for uh, Super Burrow to activate. Oh yeah. But then I didn't even need to happen because. Of Logan Wilson and Sam fucking Hubbard. And Jermaine Pratt. Oh, Jermaine Pratt had a hand in it, he too? Was, yeah. He stood him up, Logan Wilson made the block, and it fell into Sam Hubbard's fucking basket. Beautiful hands. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and motherfucker ran further and than you would think a fucking defensive end could run. Yeah, he was, he was a speedster. Like, Mark Andrews caught up with him, but... Marcus Bailey threw a fucking block. I kind of think that was a block in the back, but... Nah, they slowed it down. He hit him in the front. Okay. He, and you could just tell he was gassed, too, and he just kind of like, this is my last-ditch effort as he yeah. blocked him. But even even if that doesn't end up as a touchdown, it would have... They would have we would they would have already been in field goal position yeah it's a, and maybe even had gotten a touchdown out of it but but it doesn't matter fucking touchdown Game over, they won yeah like they said man a win's a win in the playoffs they can be ugly just and win the motherfucker the it's like top three all time Bengals plays maybe number one <sighs> man don't rub it in <laughs> <laughs> like. One of the coolest plays I've seen live was even not even in a playoff game. It was in a regular season game. It was the Bengals and the Colts, like Andy Dalton days. Mm-hmm. And um, Jacoby Percet, I think, was playing for the Colts at that time. And Dunlap, like, batted a pass and then caught it and ran it into the end zone. It was fucking great. <laughs> yeah, the coolest one I saw live was the Jermaine Simpson. Or- Jerome, Jerome Simpson, Simpson flip. flip. Yeah. yeah. We were right down there in the lower bowl, too. Hell yeah. I mean, as far as memorable games go, we've we've both had two of them. Well, I've we I've had two of them, but yeah, I mean, they, we went to another one this year. <laughs> like I, I feel like that Buffalo game with um, Hamlin. I feel like that's going to be one of those in, in, like years to come where people are going to be like, I yeah. was at that game. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been at two devastating ones: the Hamlin one and the, the Palmer fucking knee injury mm. 05. That's been the only playoff game I've been to. Oh, you were at that the 05. Oh, mm-hmm. that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we still, if I remember right, we're leading halftime in that game. Yeah, but do you remember, like, at Monday night, how that energy, like, it was, we were going bonkers. Like, it, that fucking place was just ready to erupt in rage. Mm-hmm. And how quick that energy got sucked out of there. Like, that was... Oh, the Buffalo one? Yeah. yeah oh, the yeah. Hamlin game. Yeah. Well, that was the 05 Palmer game. Like, we got down there at, like, 10 a.m. This was another, like, Sunday night playoff game. And we're down there. We're partying all day. We're fucking going ham. Dude blows his knee out. I'm literally come second half. I, I slept through, like, the third and a half, the fourth quarter. And the seat just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a complete energy dump, man. Well, it was just so... Like it turned on a dime because mm-hmm. that opening play, if I remember, I think it was opening play was that bomb to Henry, and yeah. you're just thinking like, "Fuck oh, yeah, yeah, we're we're doing this, uh, yeah, let's party." Yeah, but then in the same play, we lose them both. <laughs> yeah, 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 we did. We lost Henry too. Mm. God damn it, it was awful. Yeah, but, uh, anyway. that's that's Bengals fucking for you. Yeah, man, but, but not this year, motherfucker. Yeah, we turned the script. Like the shit, the, the shit goes in our direction now. Yeah, well, I mean, the NFL is trying to prevent it, but we'll go into that more on the uh, the road to the the Bengals Super Bowl. I will rape Roger Goodell's mouth. He needs rapes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, speaking of rape, yeah. So <laughs> before all that fun exactly. got started, flowers. 50th birthday party was the night before. What a way to start the weekend, I man. know, right? I was going to say it was a baller weekend. <laughs> so, Flower, he... I mean, we all love women, but Flower really loves women. <laughs> he's the kind of guy, like, you kind of got to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To make sure he's not getting a little too creepy. <laughs> so, it's like, when we knew that there was going to be strippers and Flower's... Uh, you know, getting the sense of entitlement because he's like the birthday boy. We knew this was going to be a train wreck. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, the thing was, like, Flower, he knew, but he didn't know because uh, me and another friend uh, were talking about getting strippers in front of him before anything was planned. So I think he kind of had an idea, but he didn't. So, like, we're all there and 
it's just a few dudes. We got there early, and we're all just kind of standing around. It's like, oh, it's going to be another one at Luke's house. We're standing in the mud room watching them do laundry. But mm-hmm. it, it was cool because, like, everyone started fucking piling in, and it was cool. It was cool. I think we should start to say that there was two strippers. We say strippers, uh, two strippers. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. I've never been to a party with two strippers. Oh. The bachelor party, we got one, and, and nobody wanted to chip in for that, or I would have got multiple, which I think for the bachelor party, it kind of worked out better just having one, because I'm not, I don't want to fast forward so much, but I thought it was kind of annoying, like how they were just hustling so much. Oh, like, yeah, we'll, we'll talk whole, about that, but yes, yeah. that was very aggravating. It but. was. It was like, just fucking dance. Like, it costs $500 to get you fucking bitches here. Right. Like, as soon as they get in, we need more money. More money for this, more money for that, blah, 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 blah. But whereas so your bachelor party bitch came in and started fucking urinating and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah like everything was a hustle it was like you want to uh touch it's another hundred dollars yeah, and i don't know who threw that out i don't either but <laughs> god bless them <laughs> yeah well i just know that like throughout the night because it was like if you want us to do this it's more money if you want yeah. us to do this it's more money and then they pulled a move i've never seen before which was to bring in a trainee. <laughs> oh, yeah, what the fuck? And then there's like, there's another hundred. Right, so they're just like, okay, so we got a trainee in the car with us, and they're like, we, we're we going to bring her in, and she's just going to watch, but if you want her to get naked and, and try to do some dancing, or something, like, if you pay us a hundred bucks, we'll get her naked. And it's just like, I just know that like for everything that they wanted more money, Luke was running around like a fucking madman, like, give me money, give me money. <laughs> Come on, I, motherfuckers. I mean, I get it. That's what happens with naked women, and that's why I left all my cash at home. Like, I brought $40 in singles, because I had to front a bunch to even get them there. Like, right. You know? Right. And I'm like, I'm not spending anymore. more. 40 singles, I'm good. Like, nah, I'm, I'm out after that. Yeah, I had 60 on me, and that was stupid of me to bring 60. And then on top of that, I... Got the uh, the twenty five dollars for uh, coming in first in the regular season in fantasy football. Mm-hmm. So then it's like now I'm up to eighty five dollars. Yeah, <laughs> what, did, did you end up spending it? All of it. Yeah. So there you go. At well, the end of it, and this is again, I'm not going to get into details, but at the end of it, I gave each of the like I had forty left, but I gave each of them a twenty because I just felt bad. Just tipped them. <laughs> yeah. You should have made them do weird shit. I know, right? Because like crickets ended up being out seventy, but he at least made them do weird shit to get the 70. Mm-hmm. God damn it, Chester. I know, I just felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking feel bad. They, I know. they come in there... Man, they, they know what they're doing. Like, you know, I, I still don't understand why they don't show up with bouncers, but... Yeah. that That is weird. Yeah, especially with three of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I guess nowadays with cell phones, but if you're getting raped, uh, I don't think you can get to yourself. But I guess if there's three of them. Hmm? But there's a lot of dudes there that could have raped all of them. <laughs> Alright, so let, let's go on a timeline. Let's let's start yeah, at the beginning. Let, let's back up. They come in and the girl uh, recognizes the place. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> about that. So, so, we're outside and they're pulling up and the blonde one shows up first. Never seen her before. Right. And Luke's talking to her. Like, I guess she's waiting for her buddy. I don't know. I'm sitting back smoking a cigarette. And then the other one rolls up. And you hear some more chattering. And then she steps out. It's like, it's all good. I've been here before. I peed on some dude here. <laughs> <laughs> which, which I should have kept to myself. Because I went in and told you. It's the same one from before. And she... Remember where I she thought you were fucking with me at first, but then once you <laughs> said that, I realized you were serious. I was like, I went into hiding for at first. I know, <laughs> and I was like, God damn it, I shouldn't have ever fucking said anything. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a little bit of shame about what happened the night that she was there last in July uh, at my bachelor party. What, getting peed on? Getting peed on, uh, yeah. What the fuck? There's been several pods where you talked about digging it. I, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean I don't feel shameful. <laughs> <laughs> well, she didn't feel shameful. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I mean, it, it, we'll get we'll get to in, more into that. But, yeah. Uh, first of all, let's talk about how the living room was decorated. Yeah, so the name of the party was... Thunder Rate 50. <laughs> <laughs> Is that to be like a NASCAR race? <laughs> like, like like 50 laps or something? It started as Thunder Rape because 
Flower is... Oh, he's 50, I guess. Yeah, yeah. He, he's 50 years old now. But Flower is is a creepster, to put it politely. So... <laughs> We always, said you got to keep an eye on him. Yeah, we always <laughs> kind of joke around that he, he might rape somebody or whatever. So it looks like Thunder Ape. I'm like, fuck it, let's just call it Thunder Ape 50. But yeah, like, he's got this fucking living room and there's these skeletons all fornicating. And Flower's a big skeleton guy. He loves skeletons. Oh, does he? I yeah. didn't know that. That makes sense yeah. then. If you go to his house, there's like skulls and shit really? all over, like all year round. Oh, right on. Fr- yeah, dude, he, he's a big skeleton dude. He Luke had one that was like attached to the ceiling yeah, fan, that was so awesome. it was spinning around, and it had a fucking dildo attached to it. <laughs> it's got <laughs> rainbow trousers, <laughs> <laughs> and then it had another couple that were um, were they sixty nine or just fucking? I think they were fucking. No, I think you're right. Yeah, I think there, right. there was a dildo in there too. Oh, I didn't see that dildo. Yeah, <laughs> I mean he's got a dildo for every occasion. Yeah, he's got multiple dildos. He's probably got his Valentine's Day dildo getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah, booze heads. If you want to send us a dildo, for we can donate to Luke. It, That's yeah, right. It'll just, go to a good cause. It will. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's got dildos everywhere. <laughs> I, I would love it for him to eventually get a collection of dildos that rivals your collection of toys. That would rule. <laughs> but I think he always like they end up getting used and mm. like you know destroyed, or the dogs eat them, or like, <laughs> covered in feces. <laughs> <laughs> and he tosses them. <laughs> you know, it's life of a dildo. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish we could buy them in bulk and they were cheap. Dildos are kind of expensive. Right? Have I ever told you about BitFTA? <laughs> no. It's it's a site where, um, like, you go on it's an auction site and, like, they sell shit that's been, like, returned or a place that's been liquidating their stuff. Like, they'll buy the stuff on, like, for pennies on the dollar and then sell it on their auction site. Mm -hmm. I've seen, like, adult-themed auctions in there with, like, fucking sex toys and dildos and stuff. So that's a a cheap place to get them. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we just need to buy them on bulk for the dude. They should have a fucking convention. (laughs) (laughs) Or, like, like, you know they have a gun shows and stuff? Yeah. a dildo convention. Uh, I'm sure they do. They probably do somewhere. Probably in Vegas. Probably in Vegas, yeah. They do have, like, the adult film star awards or whatever yeah. and like i think it's set up like a convention be awesome if like he just comes home from work and there's just like a pallet of like 60 500 dildos yes <laughs> <laughs> if i had the money like I-, I would just like airdrop them oh yeah <laughs> like it's like coming down like on a parachute <laughs> Because he does have a big backyard yep. and just lands just it. <laughs> <laughs> he runs out to it, he opens it, and starts waving one at the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> if dude ever, like, got stranded on a desert island, how people, like, will do that, and, like, the planes fly over and you're trying to signal them. Yeah. I get to see him, like, waving a dildo. <laughs> He wouldn't even spell, like, help in rocks. It would just be a cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> or he spells help in dildos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if we can get him the pallet, donate, booze heads. <laughs> we he, should start a GoFundMe. <laughs> we should, for the cum museum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does need some new ones. <laughs> Have you ever heard, like, of a stalk the bar party? Oh, yeah. He needs to throw. Yeah. Oh, that's a, a good sto- idea. A stalk the dildo party? Yeah. <laughs> I should tell him to throw one of those. Like, hey, Luke, I got... Everybody Chester- comes with a sex toy. <laughs> Chester's got a good idea for Stop you. Stop the museum party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come unless you have a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, strippers are there. We got two of them. One yeah. of them knows us. <laughs> yeah. She had peed on somebody here before. Right. And immediately, they, they're just hustling. Like I said, right off the bat, 100 yeah. bucks to, like, touch. So it cost us 500 to even get the two of them there. Right. It already started to annoy me. Like, I don't have any more money, bitch. Oh, and the way they were like, if you guys don't start tipping us more, we're going to leave. Yeah. Well, like, no. well we, I think we got you for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck you, man. Like, I'm sorry if your owner or your pimp or whatever takes all that 500 but 
I mean, I don't know what kind of clientele you got, but that that's a lot of fucking money. Right. You know? As far as I'm concerned, we shouldn't have to tip you a goddamn dime. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Shit. When you're paying that kind of money. I know. Go to Diamonds. I could take 500 fucking dollars and use that for lap dances and shit. You could probably fuck one of the girls at Diamonds yeah. for that money. And that's what it took to get them there. That was one of the things that like, I immediately noticed was different. Mm-hmm. Was and it, and it felt more like corporate. Like it did. Like after my party, they were like the company sent a memo. It, it must have. Because like, if you're gonna do this crazy shit, get extra money for it. Yeah. Because <laughs> when she came to yours, she rolled in there. She was about it. Didn't none of that shit. Smaller tits. Yeah, and looked better. Like I mean, her still looked good even with the implants. But can we say that like the last time when she was there for my party, she kept talking about how she wanted to yep. get a tit job. Yeah, and yeah. now she did. She yeah. got them. She came back with a tit job. She's making a killing. She's doing it. She lived her dream. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if maybe she was newer then, but she was a hell of a lot cooler at your fucking bachelor party. Yeah, she seemed more chill. Yeah, for sure. Where this one, it was like. There was a couple times she yelled at me because I was made, like I was so fed up with the shit. Like, bitch, I spent one hundred fifty dollars to get you here. Mm-hmm. Like, shut the fuck up and dance. <laughs> <laughs> so we get down into like the main room, right? And they're mm. dancing, and I, I was off. Um, in the other room because I was scared still. <laughs> yeah, Chester's being bashful. Like, this fucking whore remembers who you are. You know how many I think dudes- it was more like there was um, girls there that we know. It was co-ed and I was worried, like, it would come up the fact that she had peed on me and then, like, they would and in- just end up telling Amber like not intentionally but just to yeah. come up in conversation and then uh, I'm pretty sure Amber's not going to be too happy with me but, I mean... I don't know. <laughs> it's, it, I feel like it's just gonna come out at one of these point, one of these days, and I'm just hoping there's enough time that's passed that it just will be like, like an argument maybe, and and then that's not, it. Not a divorce. Not a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think the guys know not to bring it up, but I don't know what the guys told their wives, and I don't know if it's on the girls' minds because it's not like. You and Amber come out to a lot of those gatherings where those girls are there to where, like, all that time Chester got peed on by the stripper. (laughs) (laughs) Which he didn't really request, but we kind of... It was very bang-bang. Like, I had moments to just... It was like, oh, do do that? Okay. And it was like, lay down. And I was like, okay. (laughs) You you were just vibing with the party, and we were wanting you to have fun, and we were trying to have fun with it. It wasn't like you're sitting there in the corner fucking masturbating or fucking, you know, golden shower. It was like, how much to get this dude pissed on after dude peed on another dude? And she said, 20 bucks. Flower handed her a 20. She said, lay down. You laid in dude's pee, and she peed on you. (laughs) Like you said, bang, bang, bang. It it was very fast. (laughs) Yeah. It it wasn't like you had time to think about it. Mm -hmm. But it was Chester Fest, Guy Party Fest 1. So Right. We were in Guy Party mode. Right. And and I hope that, like, we just keep... Like, the parties, like, would just keep escalating. I hope so. This one, I feel like, was an escalation of Guy Party Fest. Which, yeah, when we get more into it, (laughs) you're gonna... Booze heads, you're gonna realize it it did escalate. (laughs) But I want to touch on that, too, because Crickets and I were talking about, like, how annoying the hustling was. Right. To where, like, maybe it was because there was two, Mm. and we were talking about maybe getting three for Guy Party Fest, which Mm. that would be a fucking goddamn fortune. But I feel like maybe they're, because, you know, they have to divvy up the tips, where Mm. do we just keep it one and maybe keep her for two hours? You know what I'm saying? I said I kind of want to get, like, especially if we're doing multiple, I'd like to get at least one weird one. Like, one that's like... I don't know, missing a limb or <laughs> or like a, like a midget or like a big fucking fat girl. Well, midgets, I looked into those for your uh, bachelor party and they're like two grand. Mm. And the crew we roll with, there's no way I'm raising two grand. Yeah, that's true. 
that's when we get like the private island money. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have like ten midget strippers on call. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not good at fundraising for these events. Where like Luke's better at it, so I don't know what he ended up paying. Yeah, but I feel like I ate more at the bachelor party, and that was just one. So with Guy Party Fest, I don't know. I would love to get more and weird ones, but unfortunately, we know a bunch of. Bleep. I'm not going to say the word, but yeah. <laughs> N-word? J-E-W-S. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> we both went racist there, just in different directions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's just worse. Probably the N-word, but yeah, I went to the J-word. Mm. <laughs> I, I get it now. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so first thing I saw was... Luke laid down the uh, Philadelphia Eagles blanket <laughs> yeah. and, like, took his shirt off, too, if I remember right. <laughs> Probably. Sounds about right. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting slutty. Let's just get fucking half naked. And, like, he was, like, on top of her, just like he was right before Michael Benjamin pissed on him. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so, Bloom didn't even get a dance yet. He's just, like, he wants to No, I think up. Bloom had the blonde girl. Because he was out of my, my vision. Okay. Like, he was off in the corner, and I could just see, like, uh, Luke and the, the brunette stripper. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, he's just, like, crawling on. It's almost like he wanted to pick up where he left off yeah. At, yeah. <laughs> at yeah. my party. Because <laughs> he was doing that same move. And then I just remember, like, I don't know, like, the stripper, I think, was, like, on her hands and knees. And then uh, Trip Puppy came and started licking her face. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> and me and Crickets are off in the other room just watching this shit and laughing. I remember thinking at the end of the night, that was really funny because it was like the puppy was licking the stripper's face. Mm-hmm. But then it's just it kept getting like more and more degenerate <laughs> <laughs> to where that seems really tame. <laughs> I remember I was sitting next to and there was a couple guys that weren't being bashful. There's only like five guys in there watching the strippers. The rest of y'all were like huddled in the mud room or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. You know, fucking weird. But uh, the blonde sat down and she started fucking stripping on me. And I guess somebody had finally paid the hundred for we could touch. I'm like, well, fuck, I'm touching. I started grabbing her tits. Yeah. And she's like, they're small. I'm like, I don't care. They're tits. <laughs> <laughs> But I thought they, they looked all right. It's small, but that's all right. Yeah, I mean, they weren't the most beautiful tits, but I'll squeeze them together, making them look good. <laughs> so I, I tend to do that with chicks I fucking end up banging that don't have great tits. Just smash them together and like, all right, straight at you. They're looking at you. Good looking tits now. <laughs> <laughs> trick photography. Trick photography. That's exactly what I do. I trick my brain into thinking they're good tits, and then my dick gets harder. <laughs> All right, so you're just touching tits at this point. Maybe yeah. grabbing ass a little bit. Yeah, I'm grabbing ass. I, I'm not getting touching as nasty anything as far. Else. No, I didn't want to get it that far. Like they said, you could touch, and uh, she said you can touch anything. Just don't finger my asshole. Damn, that's that's pretty liberal. Yeah, I think that didn't they say something about poop not pooping? <laughs> Probably. I think they, I think they did lay a ground rule about no, no pooping. No, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I mean. Girls will go to a certain extent, and these girls did. But yeah, I guess pooping's just kind of like, like number an older one's treat. on the menu, number two not so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, you know, it's it's probably easier to piss than it is to just fucking take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like after my party? They're like, yeah, let's just start pissing on people and charging them a bunch of money. And then like maybe one party, like the dudes got carried away, and like somebody did like. Like, a dude just dropped a deuce on one of the strippers. It could have been, and maybe that's why she was hustling so hard when she came back, knowing where she peed. Like, these guys are weird. Yeah, maybe after that she, like, left, and she's like, why did I do that for, like, 20 bucks? Yeah. (laughs) Why did I do that for $200? (laughs) (laughs) They just caught me so off guard. (laughs) But, yeah, I mean, they're dancing around. I don't know who all got lap dances, but I know Flower got a heavy dose, and... Flower is just, he's going ham as fuck. The blonde one started, like, pulling his fucking pants down a little bit. I'm like, all right. I'm, like, throwing more dollars. Like, pull that fucking love gun out, dude. See what it's made of. Yeah, yeah, Because, you know, he's, him and Stephen Dale could have he's a light. He's packing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, him and Stephen Dale could have a lightsaber battle with their cocks. Yeah, he he's, 
it's like he's got that like tall, skinny kind of frame that yeah. you just like no, he's packing a hog. Yeah, like it's just all dangling down. Right. Like he started out touching uh, like tits and ass. I imagine did he just start touching pussy and butthole right away? Pretty much. He, uh, Flower got right into it. He just dived right in. Yeah, like Flower's just munching on asshole and pussy. Like he is eating these girls out. So that started right away because I came in later and he was doing it, and I was like, Jesus! <laughs> that was my big takeaway from the night. I was like, I've never seen a man eat so much butthole. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you just pop in and fucking. So we had a lot of butthole before I even got in there. He's just planting seeds in every asshole he can see. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, what a legend! Yeah, <laughs> he's not worried about anyone or what they think or if they're looking. He is chowing down. Hell yeah, he dude. Is Hung in the fuck out of Oh, there. yeah. Like, I remember, like, at one point, like, he's, uh, I don't remember which one he was doing, but, like, she was kind of, like, he was sitting on the couch, and she was bent over, and, like, he's licking her ass, and then, like, <laughs> he pulls his head back out for a second, like, looks around, and, like, goes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like, he does that, like, that tenacious D, like, like, rock and roll, like, yeah. <laughs> he was very proud of himself. <laughs> he was having himself a good fucking time. Yeah, and I'm just like, fucking A. <laughs> and then I remember there's this other time when, uh, so the uh, brunette stripper was just standing up, and, you know, of course, like, they're naked the whole time, but yeah. so, but at some po- points they were just kind of standing there talking to us. Yeah, and, she was probably trying to get more money. Probably. But, but yeah, this was awesome, because I saw it as well. Yeah, she's just, like, sitting there talking to Luke. And, like, he gets behind her, she's standing, and he just gets on his knees and gets behind her and spreads her ass cheeks and starts going in. Yeah, he is going ham, Oh, dude. yeah. And, and she's just kind of, like, kind of gently, like, swatting him <laughs> away. Like, he's looking my butthole. <laughs> and she's probably enjoying it. Yeah. But, I mean, she's like, get away, get away. Mm-hmm. And just tongue in that mother. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> and, like, yeah, when she had her pussy in his face, like, and he's laying down. And, like, he's licking it, and she's just kind of pushing his head, but he's kind of pushing his head forward. <laughs> and she's pushing his head away, and he's pushing it forward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she wanted his tongue, but she got it, so yeah. there was a little bit of, There's a, some tongue raping, for sure. Oh, he, he definitely tongue raped. That, that's hence Thunder Rape 50. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I was pretty drunk at the time, I'm pretty sure. I was like, bad, bad, <laughs> <laughs> Flower. It's Flower. Bad flower, bad flower. <laughs> so, um, yeah, fucking champion, though. Uh, and, okay, so there's a couple things I know I didn't see uh, that supposedly happened, and maybe you can back me up on this. The first thing is, Luke said he had, th- had fingers in him. Um, he I said he had, like, three fingers in him at one point. I'm sure he did. I didn't catch it, but there was just so much madness, and I... I saw and they didn't say so that ass. you couldn't finger their pussies. Yeah. They just said no fingers in their butthole, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sure. I'm sure he did. And then the other one was they got him on the uh, laying down on the ground, and I heard he got a golden shower of his own, but from both strippers. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't see it. Did that happen? That did happen, so you don't have to shame as hard That's true. I, I have a golden shower brother. Yeah. <laughs> he got a dual shower. And in his mouth, if I remember. Yeah, they set it up to where somehow the one was sitting over and they had it positioned to where it was like running down into his mouth. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) And we're like, holy fuck, Flower, did you get peed on? And he stood up, he's like, oh, yeah, I did. (laughs) It was just piss all down his pants. Like, he had his shirt off at that point. All right, so let me um, just point out a difference between these two pissings <laughs> mine was in july and i ran to the pool yeah and got myself cleaned off <laughs> this pissing happened in january where there's no pool <laughs> and I, don't, I don't even know if he had a change of clothes i don't think he did because i don't think he planned on getting peed on right? <laughs> <laughs> so good on him for just sitting in that yeah <laughs> and then well luckily Luke had the the Eagles fucking carpet down, so there wasn't, like, puddles where, like, at your bachelor party. Well, at one point he had, like, the Eagles and the Bengals blanket down. 
Like it started with the Eagles, and then I think the 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 Bengals blanket went on top of it because you know who day, mm. and. Uh, so I think that the Bengals blanket might have gotten peed on. That degenerate Cincinnati. I think that stripper piss might have given us a bit of look. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. maybe the stripper piss caused the Sam Hubbard touchdown play. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we need to get one this Saturday. Uh, as well. <laughs> <laughs> Will you pee on my jersey, please? I mean, it was a freak play. Fucking. <laughs> I, it's got to be stripper piss, though. I, I, like, yeah, we, we yeah. can't pee on our clothes and then expect nah. the Bengals to do something because of it. No, nah, yeah, it's got to be stripper fucking piss for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just, it's good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dude was having the time of his life because I, I remember one point i think when she was peeing in his mouth he, she's like straddling him he's just like oh because like, <laughs> i was standing over there with his buddy and the creepy neighbor dude that gets fucked by his dad oh does he i think so oh yeah <laughs> but, uh, when crickets was trying to figure out um like who else to invite to the the game I think he was volunteering, and I don't think Crickets was having it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Crickets, he's a yuppie. <laughs> he should have took the dude that gets fucked by his dad. If I would have known that, I would have done it, and like I would have like told the Bengals about it, just, <laughs> so that we could see if we can get him on the field. Like, <laughs> cheer on this special little man, a sexual survivor. <laughs> <laughs> Burrow gives him a high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, they're closing up shop. They're getting ready to go. And Crickets comes in and oh, saves yeah. the day oh, for yeah. one last fucking one last hurrah, one last hurrah. He drops like fifty bucks in Venmo. In Venmo. <laughs> Hopefully, his wife saw it. Yeah, right? <laughs> I wonder what it shows up on on his bank account. Gummy bears. <laughs> Gummy bear butthole. Yeah. So. I don't even know how this discussion got started. I guess it was all the asshole eating. So she's like, for 50 bucks, I will eat cookies and gummy bears out of this bitch's butthole. Crickets Venmo's the money, and sure as shit, she starts stuffing fucking gummy bears in this bitch's butthole. I heard it wasn't gummy bears. I heard it was like like some um, fruit chews. Well, That's what Luke said like the day after. He so, said it were like some kind of like... like uh, um, Oh, God, what are those? Like, the fruit chews they give, like, kindergartners. <laughs> I mean, aren't they all kind of the same? It's kind of a gummy. It's a gummy, I mean, but yeah. All right. But still, I don't know why, like... A, a fruit chew, whatever the fuck. It's, it makes me laugh that it's a kindergarten snack that's going into a stripper's <laughs> asshole. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got some video of that, but she's munching down. Oh, yeah, they were, like, all about the no phones, but... And when yeah, that happened, like, out. everybody had their phones out. Yeah, and that was, like, honestly, the only time my dick got really hard was when she was eating her out, and the blonde one was just, like, you could tell she was fucking... She was digging it? She was digging it. She was mm. like, oh, like, you know, mm-hmm. making those faces, yeah. like, this is damn yeah. good. How I, many gummies did she shove up her ass? I think she ended up doing two or three before they called it a fucking night. So, now, they did, uh, like, go... Into her butthole, right? Well, upon further review, it was the vagina. Okay. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. So, Aww. Was, that, was that one like the NFL replay? <laughs> <laughs> upon <Yeah>. further review. <laughs> upon further review. <laughs> well, let me see if I can pull up the video real quick. You sent me one of them. I think you sent me all of them. Or, well, three. Oh, of them. I did. I did. But mm-hmm. uh, we'll just play the audio for the yep. booze heads if Fuck I yeah. have it on there. How are you going to get a cookie up there? It would crumble upon the butthole. Well, you would think, yeah. But then again, how do you get a gummy in there without it just <laughs> splatting? <laughs> I was choking on it. <laughs> I was you got to get it out there. Is there, like, any preparation for this? Like, could you shove the butthole or anything? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> What what is it? Shut up, uh, Zach Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there, there's more. You're like thinking about it as a football play. Pretty cool for this type of maneuver. <laughs> this is an excellent song for this. <laughs> you guys need a bodyguard. How do you not work out? I hate you. But yeah, she is literally eating gummies out of her vagina, and yeah. or I'm sorry, fruit snacks or whatever you want to call them. And, and, and we were we were led to believe it was out of her butthole. 
Yeah, Crickets got ripped. He should have demanded a fucking refund of at least 25. He should dispute the charge. Yeah, he should. (laughs) (laughs) All right, and I know there's one other thing I thought was fucking hilarious. Um, You know how they were, like, collecting money? I remember at one point they were trying to collect money for something, and Luke was like... Well, we don't have any money, but we got a lot of food. You guys can take some food. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the blonde one and the blonde went up there. Taking leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a stripper leave with food. I know. <laughs> God damn it! It almost makes you feel bad. I feel a little sorry for him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like God, is is she taking it home to our kids? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Well, the one fucking cunt is like, how are you going to get my dick hard after I contributed to the $500 to get here that you're bitching about me fucking seeing your tits and you got to feed your daughter Lunchables? This is the brunette. I'm like, oh, she said that? Yeah. Too? Mm. I'm like, you fucking dirty whore. Like, What's wrong with Lunchables? Nothing, but she said... Is she saying she's feeding her daughter those for dinner or something? She was bitching about the inflation and Ah. that why motherfuckers needed a tip. I'm like, I've contributed enough to get you here. I'm sorry the rest of them won't fucking tip you, but that's not my fucking problem. Put your titties in my face. I was going to say, if you were super worried about inflation, you may have, uh, I don't know, not gotten the tit job. Yeah, oh, there you go, yeah. That That'll buy a lot of Lunchables. It would have. <laughs> Man, that shit kind of ruined it for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, overall, I'm glad. Yeah, like, the money grab was taking us out of it. It I was. Like. It got annoying, very yeah. annoying. Like, I, I could have went to Diamonds and dealt with that. I, you could have went to the brass ass and lived like a king. I, I would have <laughs> I would have done a lot better with what I spent and got there. All right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's that's Thunder Rate Fifty. A lot of buttholes. A lot of butthole, a lot of butthole play. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, Flower showed up to work Monday with a fever blister that's on right. his lip. You did say that. <laughs> is that is that for real? Or I, that's what I was told. I don't work with Flower, but that's what I was told. <laughs> Flower disputed the. the uh, Accusations and said it was a pimple, but it's like, hey, flower, you turned fifty. Only fifty year olds get many pimples. <laughs> you got herpes, bro. <laughs> For meeting dirty stripper uh-huh. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hope he didn't get herpes, but shit, yeah, I don't know. I, that's a guy party badge of honor, right there. It is, and like we were talking about after that performance, he's probably he's a front runner. Front runner for sure. For next GPHOF, the Guy Party Hall of Fame. Yeah. And induction, which I think we decided we're just going to do that right around our year in review, maybe. Yeah, we'll probably do it, I guess, maybe next January. Yeah, yeah. I I think that's fair. Yeah. Just do it right around year in review kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. That just makes it, you know, we'll remember it. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, true that. True, yep, yep. Yeah, we'll we'll do it every January. (laughs) Or maybe November. I don't know, but yeah, he's the front runner. It was a good time, and it was it was fucking nice to just be in the shadows watching it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, so, yeah, I guess I never asked you about that. What was it like being the center of all that at your bachelor party? Like, I mean, it was cool. I, I mean, I just it touched a lot of fucking tits and ass, and <laughs> I don't think I fucking used my tongue at all. <laughs> This guy fucking man. <laughs> I see I would have feel like that to me would be crossing the line for sure. It, one little caveat, like I do think it's kind of funny that Flowers former brother in law was there watching this whole oh, yeah. fucking debacle. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, Hey, do you think he used to do this to your sister? Yeah, that was that was he's like, I don't want to talk about it at all. Like he was just instantly scarred. <laughs> Look at this creep in action. Yeah, like the things he did to your sister. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you think he'd just like wake up in the middle of the night and just start munching her asshole? Oh my god. When he lived with Luke, you could just hear him in the other room. We'd be out there in the kitchen drinking beers, and you could just hear him fucking pounding her. You could hear the skin smacking. Like, his dick was that big. <laughs> fucking good. God bless him. Dude, Flowers is a great guy. I love him to death. <laughs> he seemed like he thoroughly enjoyed himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was It was a good time. <laughs> it was. It really was. The money grab shit was annoying, and if it wasn't for that, it would probably just be an epic time it was still fucking epic it was it was a great time yeah i feel like it's made me think like we gotta step up our game for guy party fest too 
Yeah, we, we've got to get Luke on board for it. Like, the, the strippers are going to... I don't know if we... God, it's just so expensive getting them out. I'll throw in a few hundred. I didn't throw in, I don't think for... Well, I didn't throw in for my bachelor party, but... I don't know if I threw in for this one. I don't even know if anybody asked me. Nah, I mean, enough people threw in. But, yeah, no, I'm ready. Like, I feel like I'm due to throw in a good chunk, so I will do so for Guy Party Fest. But it's not just the strippers that we um, we want to do. You know, we got to come up with some other stuff, like... Yeah, whole day thing. Yeah, like, um, well, we can't do baloney anymore. We gotta do something baloney. Like, maybe not leaving baloney all around. Like, not maybe not like 14 pounds of it. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like you take out baloney, we might have to relocate. I don't know. We'll have to figure this out. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, dude, I mean, dude sanctuary, guy party compound. I mean, I don't know. It's the best place to have a party. It is. It, it's, I don't know anyone who. I mean, uh. Um, oh, it wouldn't be at some flower, Flowers, uh, former brother-in-law has a pretty good spot of its own but yeah, i don't think he's down for that kind of party yeah at this place. he's not yeah like luke's the only one it, other than that i could, the only thing i could think is something out in indiana yeah i mean it's up to luke but i mean the baloney slip and slide was amazing but i get it like he's got to stick around the next day and smell that shit oh, yeah. and we don't and on top of that like like all the flies and yeah. shit like that we, that was we, one thing i thought about i'm like god this is gonna cr- this is gonna bring in some animals yeah because i i try tried to pick up as much as I could before I left, but it, I'm sure he still had a fucking handful, like, yeah. of shit. <laughs> and apparently we left pounds in the fucking garage, too. That was just fermenting, yes. so, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, we had talked about it. Maybe we'll just do, like, some sort of baloney face mask. Or- we could do the baby pool, and then I you just make sure we absolutely collect it and, like, toss it in Walmart's dumpster. Yeah, something. yeah, because I could throw it in the back of my truck. Right. Well, I mean, we got some time. Let's collect it and then, like, toss it off the of a bridge onto 275. Hell <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can we get to be as retarded as Michael's stand-up was last year as a time filler. Because, like... That was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, like, financially, we can't get carnival rides and shit. Like, we need to make events or maybe make it like a beer olympic kind of thing but not as crazy as like set up like an obstacle course something to keep people occupied you know could we like um maybe like i don't know go to goodwill or something like that or craigslist and get some cheap ass tricycles and like i'm sure and like set and set up a uh, like a, an obstacle course, <laughs> have like like a blow up doll, and like at one point you have to like get off your tricycle and lick her asshole, and then like keep going or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> or get real strippers to be part of the obstacle course. <laughs> I mean, the strippers are gonna break the bank, but uh, I don't know. I could see like an like if, if you just set up some cones and some fuck and get some cheap ass tricycles or whatever. I don't know. I, we'll, 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 We've got some time. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll come up with some good shit. I mean, a slip and slide's pretty easy. We don't have to put baloney on it. It was pretty nice on, on acid just sitting there in the bottom of it. Yeah. <laughs> but so, I was also, um, like, rubbing the greasy-ass baloney on myself. <laughs> we're going to have to go over and do a, a Thursday pod with Luke and discuss the upcoming Guy Party Fest. Right. And, It'll be here before you know it. It will. It fucking will. <laughs> Dude, like, the old Order we get time just cooks by, dude. Mm-hmm. It's retarded. It is retarded. Except, <laughs> like, I realize now the only time that, like, when we were kids, like, holidays would slow down. Bengals playoffs slow down for me. Like, dude, this week's been fucking forever. But luckily, I only got three more sleeps to see what happens. See, what I dig about Bengals playoffs is that. It makes January for me go by faster. Yeah, it does. Because January sucks dicks, and it's like, if I can just kind of, like, breeze through January, and then, yeah, February still sucks, but it's like, once you get to March, you you feel that, like, light at the end of the tunnel Mm -hmm. when it comes to winter. Yeah, like, so when I'm in, like, the weeks slow down, it's like waiting for Christmas, Mm -hmm. but when you look back on it, it's like, it's not, it goes quick, and it just gives you something to look forward through this time of shit like we got to do something for you this year you're turning 40 yeah fortunately i'm gonna try to go to florida are you yeah because like i don't want to do my 40th and end up and nobody shows up or like at the lake and like 
All my friends showed up. I hate my fucking life. Whereas if I just go to Florida, well, I'm in Florida. Hey, I did something cool. Are you going to go to Florida like right around the time that you turn 40 or... I want to try. I don't know if I can afford it. Money. I can't afford Florida, but yeah. like I don't know. Maybe that, if you're going to do that right around your birthday, then maybe like a different weekend. Like oh, yeah. we can like go hit up a strip club or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I it wasn't something like I was expecting people to come with. That's kind of why I was like, I just want to do it for I don't have to rely on anybody showing up. Yeah. Which I don't know. Like some people are like, I don't give a fuck about my birthday. I always kind of enjoy just hanging out with people for my birthday. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I, I'm all about that. Well, I mean, I I don't know if I was super into my birthday, but then the ex-wife, you know, like, she was all about the birthday. Yeah. Like, she would do it up for a week. Mm. <laughs> and so that made me like, yeah, fuck yeah, it's your birthday. It's a big deal. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, like, I never went that ham, but it was kind of cool, like, just having a Saturday where all your buddies showed up and we drank a bunch of beers, you know? Like, that's all I really give a fuck about. Right. Like, I don't need no spectacular event, but, like, the older we get, a lot of people don't show up, and, I don't know, forty's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, is there, like, maybe, like, a truly just bonkers strip club Within, like, maybe, like, a four-hour radius of us <laughs> that we could, like, drive down to and just get really nasty. Shit, I don't know. I remember, like, right on the border of Tennessee. I think it's the border of Tennessee where you're driving down to Nashville. There's a place called the Booby Bungalow. Hell yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the Booby Bungalow. I remember, I, I've seen it, like, so many times just because I've, I've been to Nashville a bunch. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Nashville. But, yeah, it's like, the, I, I was like, Booby Bungalow. I'm like, hmm, <laughs> that seems shady. <laughs> I love it. It sounds fantastic. It's out in the middle of nowhere, too. <laughs> There's no major cities around there. It's in between. Between, I think, pretty sure it's in between Louisville and uh, Nashville. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we'll figure something out. That's for another day. Yeah. All, All right. right. So are we ready to wrap up this uh, stripper pod? Yeah. So um, shit, man. Flowers the man. Flowers the man. Probably like we said, the future nod for the next nom for real life person for the GP HOF. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen somebody. Um, just go that ham on some strippers, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> they deserves it. Show up Monday at work with a fever blister. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much butthole he ate, booze heads. Right. <laughs> but yeah, no. That dude's always been cool as fuck. He's 50, he fucking parties. He's a booze head forever. Uh, he, he gets it. He likes to have fun. He likes to live life. You know, with like every who day, he like shouted that Sunday... He probably could taste butthole in the back of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope he brushed his teeth really good. <laughs> I'll tell Luke, like, he's probably burping up butthole today. <laughs> burping up butthole. <laughs> <laughs> the synopsis for this Thunder Rate 50, have you ever burped up butthole? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking burps and, like, glitter comes out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Well, dude, I was, I was hanging out with my nephews. I was all, like, half drunk the next day, and they're all over ready for the Bengals game. I'm like, man, dude, these bitches were eating gummy bears out of their vagina. My dad keeps yelling, shut the fuck up. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, my nephews are teenagers. They're getting that age. I don't give a fuck. I'm the uncle. Uncles are supposed to be creepy. Right, right. Oh, (laughs) fuck, yeah. Oh, I know, like... There's um, this SNL thing, uh, Bobby, I think Bobby Moynihan used to do it. He'd come on a Weekend Update and he was Drunk Uncle. And I'm like, that's me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, your mom and dad are, are supposed to keep you in check. The uncles are the ones that introduce you to weird shit. Hell yeah. And I was just like, fuck it. I'm- My niece uh, turned 21 this year and I'm just like... Man, like, should I get her some booze? I'm like, but I don't even know if she drinks. And I'm like, is it weird to ask my brother if his daughter drinks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my family, we're just a bunch of degens, so I already know off the rip. Like, right. Yeah, yeah whatever. Fucking Claremont County represent. Shit, yeah, dude. But on that note, flowers and men. Thunder Rape 50. Thunder Rape 50. Uh, we'll look for Flower being the next nom for the guy, uh, GPA HOF. 50 for every minute that he licked butthole that night. Dude, I hope when I turn 50, I'm hanging out with dudes, drinking beers, and licking buttholes. buttholes. I mean, that's Kenny Powers. Dude, I mean, he's living his best life. That's right. (laughs) Hell yeah. On that note, 
booze heads. You, you guys know how to find us. Spread the goddamn gospel. Guy party forever, motherfuckers. Share your stripper stories with us yeah, if you want. For real. So let's get a community of stripper stories. Join our Facebook fucking community page and post weird shit. We love to talk to you, booze heads. But uh, until the next episode. God! God!